Welcome to our demonstration on alkaline ionized water. Tap water that has been filtered properly and then run through a water ionizer gives you three very helpful benefits. Number one, it's a powerful antioxidant. Number two, it's alkaline. And number three, it has superior hydration properties. We would like to demonstrate these properties in a way that you can actually see. So let's get started. The first one, the antioxidant property, to measure antioxidant potential of a liquid, we use a pinpoint meter. Oxidation reduction potential, or ORP, is actually measured in millivolts. A negative number indicates oxidation reduction, and that's what you want. A positive number actually indicates the opposite, that the liquid be oxidizing you. So we're going to take a look at this. We have a selection of bottled water here, followed by tap water and alkaline ionized water. Takes a moment for this meter to sort of settle. We're seeing it at about 270 right now. This is, this is Dasani water. 300 and still climbing. All right, about 388, positively oxidizing, 390. Moving on to Aquafina, it's about the same. Smart water. Stays about the same, 380, still positively oxidizing at 380. Let's see what Fiji water is. Drops a little bit better. Where is it going to stop? At about 320, 319, 317. Starts to slow about there. We're going to move into sports drinks. This is Propel. Still about 364, see 363, and slowing, 360. How about Gatorade? Ooh. Gatorade's more oxidizing at about 440 at this point. Still climbing a little bit, not really fast, so it should slow. 450, as you can see, it's very oxidizing. We're going to move into soda. We have just a clear soda. This would be indicative of all sodas. We've just chosen one that's clear. Holding at about 460. Those two are very oxidizing, aren't they? This next one is tap water. Dropping a little bit. Still positive at 310 and holding at about 300, a little over 300. This last one is alkaline ionized water. Notice how it immediately jumps to the negative. It's registering at about four, a negative 485, moving into negative 500. You can see that the antioxidant potential of every glass of water can be very beneficial to the body. Most of these bottled waters are still positively oxidizing, but alkaline ionized water can give you antioxidant potential with every single glass of water that you drink. Next, we'll look at the pH of these drinking waters. Using pH reagent drops, we're able to see whether these drinking waters are acidic, pH neutral, or alkaline. Corresponding with this chart, the top chart right here, these on this side, the yellow to the orange indicate that the water is very acidic. pH neutral, the color should be green or to blue-green. Dark blue to purple indicates alkalinity or alkaline water. So we'll, tip, and we'll put four to five drops in each one of these. Let's see pretty quickly. which are which. We'll stir lightly. And the last one here. All right, let's take a look. Dasani and Aquafina, you can see, are pretty acidic, definitely lower than pH neutral. Smart water, Aquafina, tend to be a little bit more alkaline, pH neutral just about.
These sports drinks, however, you can see are quite orange and really, really acidic. So not only do you have lactic acid buildup when you're exercising, but you're pouring very acidic drinks into that and it just adds to the acidic buildup in the body. This one is the tap water. pH neutral, remember that tap water is EPA controlled. It has to be pH neutral. However, there's chlorine and chloramines added to disinfect it. There's also um, lead and arsenic. There's a lot of minor contaminants in tap water that make it not necessarily desirable to be drinking for the long haul. Alkaline ionized water you can see is very alkaline. Now, there's no substitute for eating fruits and vegetables to alkalizing the body to help the pH to, to stay stable. The things that really contribute to acidic buildup within the body are our acidic foods that we eat, drinking acidic water, or a stressful lifestyle. But if you choose the right water and you drink an alkaline water, 9.5, you can see that it can help to neutralize many of the effects of acidic buildup within the body. These sports drinks, however, you will see are actually very acidifying. Okay. So even if you are working hard with your diet to, to alkalize the body to slow down the acidic buildup, even a sip of something so acidic as soda can change that really quickly. And remember, this is really, really diluted. So trying to maintain the acid alkaline um, environment within the body can be done largely by eating fruits and vegetables, but choosing the right water, not adding acid water to your body, but rather washing it out with alkaline ionized water can make a really big difference. The third property of alkaline ionized water is that it's extra hydrating. We can show this by using simple tea bags. If we take green tea bags, normally when we make tea we use boiling water, right? Well, but for this we're just going to use room temperature water. We'll add tap water to one. And then ionized water to another. Now let's see which one makes tea a little bit faster, okay? The microclustering in the water renders the water literally less dense so that it's able to move through the paper, through the tea, and make the tea faster. The same thing happens with coffee or soups if you're making soups. Let's go back to tap water to see if it really is true. Okay. Do you see the difference? This was the property that really made a difference the first time I started drinking alkaline ionized water. A friend gave me a gallon and I drank a glass, then another glass, then another glass, and another glass. Now, for me, I had been drinking reverse osmosis water for years, recommended by my physician. For 20 years, I was drinking reverse osmosis water. Reverse osmosis is really clean. It's completely filtered, but it's so filtered that all the beneficial um, um, minerals are actually removed as well, and it's also very acidic. Drinking alkaline ionized water within four hours or so, I could see a noticeable difference in my skin. It was smooth and silky. That really got my attention as a nurse because if it was doing this to this organ, the largest in the body, I was wondering what it was doing with all the rest of them. Okay, The super hydrating property of this water helps athletes to recover more quickly. It just helps to hydrate the, wa the body the way it should be, helping the body to literally reach a homeostasis to be at the best level of health that it can be. Those are the three properties of drinking water. It's got its powerful antioxidant properties, it's alkaline, and it's also microclustered for super hydration. When you have a water ionizer, there are multiple settings on it. The three settings for the alkaline water are 8.5, 9.0, and 9.5. There is also a setting for just um, filtered water, but not ionized water. The reason for that is that if you take pharmaceutical medications that are time-released, you don't want to drink it with ionized water because in the same way that this microclustering makes the water absorbed much faster into the skin and into the organs, it will do the same thing to the medication. So time-release is not so time-release anymore. So if you have to take time-release medications, take them with the setting for filtered but not ionized water. Now, 
There are a couple other settings on the, on the water ionizer, one for strong alkaline water and strong acidic water that have multiple uses within the home. We'd like to demonstrate that in just a minute after I clean all this stuff up. We'll be right back. Strong alkaline water has a wonderful use within the home regarding fruits and vegetables. Most fruits and vegetables that you buy in the grocery store or even at the farmer's market are sprayed, sprayed for pesticides. When you take them home, the first thing you do, of course, because of those pesticides, is to wash them off. So if we're washing off our fruits and vegetables with tap water, we're going to try washing them off with strong alkaline water. Strong alkaline water has an extra benefit that we can demonstrate by using oil. Here we have simple sesame oil. It's brown and very viscous. When we add water to oil, what happens? We'll add tap water here. And you see that basically the oil is lighter than the water and floats to the top. But strong alkaline water has an additional property that actually emulsifies the oil and therefore it's a degreaser for your fruits and vegetables but also many people have reported lowered cholesterol while drinking alkaline water over time. Now this is strong alkaline water too strong to be drinking 10.0 to 11, 11.5 that's too strong for everyday drinking but alkaline ionized water even at the 8.5 or the 9.0 or 9.5 level has a little bit of this property so you may experience a drop in cholesterol. Back to the fruits and vegetables. When we rinse off our vegetables in tap water, they get clean. But if we rinse them in strong alkaline water, they get cleaner. Here we have oil-based pesticides that are sprayed on all your fruits and vegetables, leaving them with that waxy film. And unfortunately, as you're watching this on the video, you're not able to taste the difference. You can see the difference here, but when you taste this, it's a lot different. It's much fresher. It's almost as if your fruits and vegetables just came out of the garden when you're not bumping into this waxy substance. Tomatoes, grapes, strawberries, bell peppers, uh, any kinds of greens should all be washed in alkaline ionized water. So in our home, it comes through the grocery store, it comes out, out of the garage, actually into the kitchen. We will fill up a large container of strong alkaline water, plunge the fruits and vegetables in it, leave it for about this length of time. By the time you put all the rest of your, your groceries away, you can pack this into the refrigerator and you'll find that the fruits and vegetables actually last longer when they're washed and all the pesticide is washed off. The opposite of strong alkaline water is strong acid water. Strong acid water is a very powerful disinfectant and can be used anywhere within the home as it kills germs and bacteria on contact, including E. coli and MRSA. So you can, another setting on your water ionizer, you can make as much acid water as you want, use it on your countertops in your kitchen, the bathrooms, anywhere that you want a disinfectant without the use of harsh chemicals. It's just water, but it's a very powerful disinfectant. It can also be used on your skin for any skin condition, rashes, psoriasis, or even fungi. If you would soak in the strong acid water, it really helps to cure those conditions. The last setting on an ionizer is actually for mild acid water. Mild acid water is the same pH as your skin, which is 5.5. So again, you can bottle it and use it as a, as a skin toner to smooth and to soften the skin. So you can see that with, with a water ionizer in your home, you can have gallons, unlimited amount of drinking water within your home that's a powerful antioxidant, it's alkaline, and extra hydrating without the use of plastic bottles that you then have to worry about how to dispose of. And they're not biodegradable. Between helpful drinking water, strong acid water that's a disinfectant without the use of chemicals in your home, you're saving money by not having harsh chemicals within your home or without having to buy toner for your skin. The strong alkaline water to degrease your fruits and vegetables, in my opinion, is invaluable. Whereas it is an initial investment, it's a very green machine and very environmentally safe in many, many ways. So this concludes our demonstration on alkaline ionized water. I hope there's been some things that, that you have learned that you may change within your home. Thanks for coming and listening.